okay here is our chair fully textured <coughs> no I'm just kidding um, you can see that um, I have um, separate parts of my chair with um, all assigned to different colors excuse me I have a little mistake right here now if you have a problem like this mistakenly add a color assign a color to a face you don't want to just select that face and go to your hyper shade and just assign the correct um, material to it so here we go so the next thing you want to do you want to open up your UV texture editor how do you do that um, my favorite way to do it is to go to panels save layouts and um, sorry panels layouts and three panes split up so you have your perspective in one pane you have another um, orthographic view in one pane and down here here we have the front view we're going to change that on the lower um, part just go to panel panel and UV texture editor here we go this is the UV so you can see how messy it looks right now but we're going to fix that uh, first of all you want to click this to um, take out the color make it easier to see and we're going to start um, laying out the UV maps excellent so the first thing you want to do you go back to your hypershade right click on um, your first material which is going to be the front of our chair for me the red one go to select object with material make sure your camera is facing your object because I'm going to um, create UVs based on camera and just hit go to create UVs on the top of your on your main tab and create UVs based on camera now you can see down here in my UV texture editor let me move this up a little bit you can see this is the front of the chair Maya actually does a very good job of um, laying it out so first thing you want to do is um, right click on the UV map go to UVs and just click drag over it and you can see that um, you see these green dots over here this pretty much represent each UV on the UV map and the UV map is pretty much a um, 2D representation of um, your 3D um, object that's pretty much the best way to put it so we have that done we're gonna go back uh, we just take that and move it to the side out of this um, main grid right here to get it out of the way you go to the back of your chair go to your yellow, yellow Lambert select objects with material I'm sorry you want to have it in faces when you do that I'm gonna create UV space on camera we'll go to the back of our chair right click on it go to UV click drag over it and we'll move it right here I'm pretty much gonna do this for the other parts of the chair for the top part of the chair I'm gonna try planar mapping this might not work but it just might create UVs planar map oh it came out okay so that's how the planar mapping work, works you can see it um, have had it um, mapped from the top of the chair which works perfectly this is the seat part and for the blue part of this chair I'm gonna cylindrical map it so I'll go back to my hyper shade right click on that select objective material create UVs cylindrical mapping and you can see it has the entire thing from the front to the back of the chair unwrapped I'm just gonna move that way over here now we're gonna do the bottom this bottom part of the chair we go select objects with material create UVs planar mapping and there it is excellent we move that to the side so the next step now will be to start texturing to start um, spreading out the UVs for your model now depending on how much detail 
you have on your model for example extrusions and um how to put it rearranging the vertices of your um model you're pretty much gonna have to do a, a little bit of um unwrapping and uh, making sure that there's no stretching on your model because that's really what kills your uv map you want to make sure your model looks like um, your uv map looks a little bit like your model so when you go to start painting you know exactly where to paint and where to add what color to how to add what color to where so we're going to select the red part again and there it is i'm going to just um zoom in on that right click on it again go to uvs and we're just going to make sure that these uvs are not overlapping now i'm only going to do this for the i'm go only going to show me doing this for the front part of the chair the other part i'm going to do it off camera and just um, let you know what i did just to save time and there we go i think this looks good enough i can pretty much tell what part of the chair this is and none of the uh, uvs are overlapping anyone <laughs> 